So if we have a battery-powered Wi-Fi camera that has a built-in battery that is non-removable and non-replaceable, like the Eufy Cam 2C, how are you gonna charge it without taking it down from the mount? And we're gonna use this. So keep on watching to find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. I've been reviewing a lot of battery-powered Wi-Fi cameras lately and have noticed that there is a trend of companies making cameras that have built-in batteries that are not removable or replaceable. I guess this is mostly to minimize the cost. Eufy started this with their battery-powered cameras which a lot of you have complained about regarding longevity of their built-in batteries. But the jury is still out on this because their cameras are still pretty new. My Eufy Cam E's are only about a year and several months old and I only have to recharge them one time. And I have no issues with the battery or battery life. I posted my one year review of this camera which I will link down below. I now have their Eufy Cam 2C and their Eufy Cam 2 which is still going pretty strong. Relink also released their new Argus 3, their battery powered spotlight camera. Which I will also link my review video down below. And this camera and their Argos Eco, which was released before this, also have built-in batteries. Their older Argos 2 and the Argos Pro have removable batteries. Now Arlo, which recently released their Essential series, starting with their Essential Spotlight camera, also has a built-in battery. I have a feeling that other cameras that they're going to release on their new Essential line will have non-removable and non-replaceable batteries. So today, we are going to check out charging options for these cameras. Because one disadvantage is that you cannot just swap out batteries, like what I do with my Ring Spotlight camera, which I actually have two batteries. One is on standby, so I can easily remove the depleted one and the backup battery will automatically kick in, so that the camera will not have any downtime and will keep monitoring. With Arlo Pro 2s, Pro 3s, and Ultras, Argus 2 and the Pro, and like my Ring Spotlight Cam battery, you can purchase additional rechargeable batteries so that you can easily swap them out. But with this new built-in and non-removable batteries like the Eufy cameras, Argos Eco, and the Argos 3, and the new Arlo Essential camera, you either need to remove and unscrew the camera from the mount, bring them inside the house to charge them for 6-8 to eight hours, and put them back in, which would mean 6-8 to eight hours of downtime. Or some of you might be running an extension cord and plugging them in, which is a better idea, but still there is the hassle of running cables. Now, depending on what brand of camera you have, most battery cameras will last 2-3 to three months. The Eufy Cam 2 and the Eufy Cam E is advertised to last up to a year, and the Eufy Cam 2C up to 6 months before needing to be recharged. Which means you will need to do this recharging process, either removing the camera from the mount or running an extension cable 1-6 to six times a year. Another option you have is a solar panel which will trickle charge your camera batteries and will top it off so that you don't have to take down the camera. Except Eufy doesn't sell solar panels for their cameras. Well, Wasserstein made one just for the Eufy Cam E, which I'm still testing and I'll do another separate video on this if this solar panel works, but will only work with the Eufy Cam E. The surrounding rubber part is in the way and will not plug all the way in for the Eufy Cam 2C. And the right angle design is in the way for the Eufy Cam 2's quarter 20 thread and magnetic mount. So this solar panel will only fit the Eufy Cam E. And we have the Arlo Essential Camera. I was almost 100% sure that the Arlo Pro 2 solar panel will be compatible because both of them have a micro USB port for charging. And I knew that it doesn't have a magnetic charging like the Ultras and Pro 3's. Well, I was wrong. The micro USB plug for the Pro 2 solar panel is too short. Arlo probably doesn't know the word backward compatibility. Every camera release they do comes with their own separate expensive accessories. So in the next month or so, you will see a solar panel exclusively for Arlo's essential line of cameras, which I'm predicting for Arlo to price it for an everyday low price of only $80. So out of these three brands, Reolink is the only one that thought that their new Argus 3 needs to be backwards compatible with their older solar panel. So the solar panel from the Argus 2, Pro, or Eco can be used for the Argus 3. They do have a newly designed thin and sleek solar panel that will be coming out soon though. Personally, I don't like solar panels. They look tacky, especially if they are in the front of the house. And it draws attention to themselves because of its bigger footprint. Plus, they come with a decent length cable that is hard to conceal. So another option you have are power banks. 
Now this is charging the cameras using power banks which probably all of you watching this video have one. Unless you don't have a phone. If you have a phone, you have a power bank. To charge the cameras, you need to have at least a power bank that has a bigger capacity than the camera themselves. We use the power add which we use to charge our phones which has a 20,000 milliamp hour capacity. Or I also have this power bank which has 12,000 milliamp hour and I have been using this for a while as a backup power of a Wi-Fi camera that I have. If you have been watching my videos, you'll be able to guess which one. And the first one to comment the correct answer below will get a $25 Amazon e gift card. One user, one guess, no multiple guesses, and no editing of comment. Good luck. You can also go to your car and some of you will have an emergency battery starter, which you can use too. This one that I have has a 21,800 mAh capacity. And this model has a quick charge 5, 9, 12 volt output which I'll talk more later on. So what I do is get a spring clamp, which by the way is a pretty versatile little helper. From holding your wood projects, holding up cables in my studio, or you can use it as a chip clip. Then I get an S hook and thread it on a hole in the handle. Clip the power bank. Attach a micro USB cable, go to the camera that you need to recharge, climb up the ladder, hang the S hook to the camera's mount, open up the micro USB port, and plug it in. Depending how low your camera's charge is, come back 4 to 6 hours later and the camera should be fully charged. But one advantage of this method aside from EC setup, the camera will still be monitoring and recording, no downtime. Now, this power bank charging method works with UFI cameras and Reolink. But with Arlo, this will only work with their essential camera. If you want to charge your Arlo Pro 2s, 3s, and Ultra cameras without removing their respective batteries, then you can use a power bank that has a quick charge output, which my car starter has. And this will charge them without showing the charging fault error, if you use a regular 5 volt output. I will also link down below regular power banks that has a quick charge output. Any questions? Comment down below. If you find value with this video, Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell icon so that you would get notified when I upload tips and trick videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.